Okay, let's continue on that. The question was, I want to connect uh, the drawing is disappeared here. For example, this one is if my zero, zero. I want to connect top zero to the bottom first point. Top first point to the bottom second point. And so on. So I want to like have this kind of twisted uh, volume, okay? In order to do this, I need to understand uh, in order to do so, I need to understand how this line is created now. For this, I can have a panel connected to top and bottom points like this. So um, the zero point is connected to the zero point. First point is connecting to the first point. It's clear, right? We talked about this. It's the matching the data. But what I want now, I want to connect zero from the top to the first from the bottom, first from the top to the second from the bottom, and so on and so forth. Six from the top to the seven from the bottom, and seven from the top to zero from the bottom. So I need to take this guy to the bottom of the list. So in other words, I need to shift this list. So I will take this part and move them upwards and take this guy and make it the last item, the last item of this list. So it will be like this one will become zero first. It's like not completely this list, but the items from the list. Only these guys and taking them one step up and this guy taking to the its position, which was like freed up in the same. Is it clear the idea? Then I can have this first item becoming zero item, second item becoming the first item, and so on. How we can do this is a very simple. We have here a function called shift list inside of the list menu. Shift list, look at the icon. It's showing that it's moving the list. It's offset all items in the list. It offsets the items from the list. Which list do you want to shift? This bottom list, we can make this. And to which uh, number, how many steps you want to shift? By default, it's one. Let's check what has been changed. So this is a before shifting, this is after shifting. Look, the first item is became the zero item, second item became the first item, and so on and so forth. So it's like this. This one is moved here, this one is moved here, this guy is moved here. But this guy is moved here. We are missing this guy. Where is this guy? No, he's not here. But we want this guy to come to this position, right? Seven, so 36, something, something like that. Let's look at the third uh, option of the shift. What does it say? It says wrap. It's wrapping the list. Uh, by default, it's false. That's why the list is not wrapped. It's just removing the first item and that's it. Moving all the rest from the place of the first item. If we turn this uh, on with setting this to true, we will see this uh, disappeared the guy. The zero guy came to the last place. Did you understand what shift does? Now, if we connect this to our line, not normal list, but shifted list, now we can see this result. Now we can see that now they have this connection. Uh, do you understand this? Is it clear for you? Yes. Almost clear. 
Why almost? What's not clear? I just missed some parts. I rewatched this this video. Okay. Now, what if not? What if I want to connect not the first in a row, but second in a row to this guy? I will just change shift offset to two. Like I'll copy the slider. Let's change it to zero first. And let's see. Zero offset means no offset. That's why we have identical lists. One offset means we are moving just one item. Two offsets, two items up. So the second becoming the zero. And this two zero and the first becoming six and the sevens. So they are coming to the down bottom. Okay, this is the elements which were here. We took this two and moved them away and we place the rest of the list on the beginning of the list and the to the empty spaces empty places were filled up we placed these two removed items okay this is how shift works why to do two positions because we defined here with two it's connected to shift when we change it to three Look what will happen. Three items will come to the bottom. So we are shifting this list to three items. Clear me. Chundi Lama. This one is connected here. So uh, look what, what has been changed. Like two, three. We are kind of rotating this division. But if you make it like more points, we will we can observe like interesting shape like this vortex or what we call paraboloid uh, surface. We can have this kind of shape. Is it clear now? Which uh, architectural piece it reminds now? Have you ever seen this kind of architecture maybe with this kind of shape? Have you seen something like this? Yes, no? Can't remember. What about others? Do you remember this guy, Oscar Niemeyer? Ah, so it's that. Hmm, not bad. Firuza, after being a presenter, you have to go home. Ah, Bar ah, Brazil, yeah, they are going to play that. My God, Casa do Real. Hmm. Someone said something. It also has this kind of shape, paraboloid shape, right? And this is a, a classics of modern architecture. We should know these buildings. And it's a really beautiful building. But this is the construction of this building, how they constructed it. Super simple, right? But at the same time, super complex. Because to, <clears throat> to solve complex problems with simple shapes requires um, knowledge and i don't know really good imagination yeah this is a model of it cool look this is how you can create this kind of shapes this is how you can create this kind of this is very basic very simple of it so this is the top radius this is the bottom radius look top radius bottom radius this is a height of it like smaller, bigger, you still can change this uh, very basic uh, parameters, which was set in the beginning of this design. 
you can control anything here, like the number of division like this. Wow, 100, that's too much. Now, do you have a questions about this design, no? No question, okay. By the way, you can create a loft from these lines because loft is created through the sequence of the lines, right? What we have here is the sequence of the lines. How many lines? 64 lines. Let's make a loft out of them. Hmm, nice. But we have this missing part. Why? Because this is a beginning. Look, beginning was on the X axis right here. Zero point. This is a zero point. This is the last point. That's why they're connected. So the loft is not closed. But we want this loft to be closed. So we go to the option of this loft. Loft options. Closed loft. And when we let commit changes, we see now it's closed. We can create this kind of surface. And when it changes this parameter, the surface changes. Yeah, there are so many things that you have to remember. That's why I ask you to write it down because it's impossible to remember all this kind of information. You write it down. When you forget, you just open related page like week three in a week three in a week four we had this kind of thing and how we did this you open the week four and you find this function super easy you also need to learn how to organize this all this information ماگیتینکیستانش so taking notes is the um, basics of learning something new. Without taking note, it's really hard to learn something. Well, look, guys, I will just turn off the loft. I even delete this loft. Now they are connected only in one direction, right? So these guys are connecting to the left from the top going to the right from the bottom to the left what if what if i want these guys to be connected to the other point as well this is it's let's move to the zero point this is our, our zero point how do we know that it's our zero point because when we change increase the number of the divisions this point stands, stands in its position and it's located on the x-axis look it always stands here others move around so this is my zero point and my zero point supposed to be connected to this one to this guy but it's connecting to the second one right second in the row here was this slide and the same is doing the others what if i want to have this symmetric pattern for example what if i want to connect to the second in a row but in another direction as well but this one to be connected to this one this one to be connected to this one this one to be connected to this one so i want to have a rom rhombus here like a pattern like this one what do you think what should i do like this one, in order to have this kind of symmetric pattern. What should I do? Because now another shift, create another, another shift. shift to create another shift, right? Okay, let's create another shift. This is our divide. This is our shift. Let's move it down. I think it's enough to make negative a number. 
Okay, let's try first a negative number, then we will try with a shift. Negative number we can have with the mass and the, from the operations, a negative. We input this and let's look what will happen. Ah, we, want what we get what we wanted. Now this uh, lines are leaning to the right with a negative number. With a positive number, they were leaning to the left. But when I connect negative, this positive is disappearing. When I connect the positive, the negative is disappearing. Why? Because the shift can get only one number. So I need another shift. Firuza was right. So Odile and Firuza solved this problem. Cool. I connect this negative number to this shift, but it's not appear. The line is not appear. Why? What I need to make this line to appear. I have this shift leaning left. I have you need shift. line. I need another line. Why? Because I want to create another line, right? If you remember, I drew this. We are missing this line. We need to draw this line. What draws the line? A common line in a grasshopper between two points. Now I want to create this line between top points and the bottom shifted points. Voila. Now we have this result. Is it clear? Now, when I change this uh, offset number, automatically it accepts its negative number because we set like this a function. If we showed like this, if we showed like this minus 100 and connect with a new slider with the minus 14, then we had have to control two slides independently. You see, I'm changing to 13. Now I have like uh, really strange lines. One is going to inside, one is going outside. So I need to control this one as well. Minus 13 now, it's yes. Good. To solve this, we use this negative number, which automates our task. Now we can increase this number as much as we want. Oh, not bad. And we can change the shape like this. And from the top, uh, we can see this interesting pattern here, like this. Is it clear now? We can change the top radius, bottom radius. So we can change whatever you want you will still get this result zero, no circle. It will not work, of course. Is there any questions? Question in Obama, not literally. No. Давайте question. Как-то boring without questions. Да бы так сало берем, а? Оп. Уже мы на негатив, прям позитив линия колдику барбрем, да, оп, караса. Паттерн на канде койса болады? Ичилары гем, да? Pattern is not a good thing. You can't get it. Pattern is not a good thing. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't Bu line'e bana kadar sickness vereceğimiz gereği. Sickness, details, yok, close. Print with bor again, display color, layer. Sickness ben almayalımız bunge. Sickness analysis, sickness analysis is already cut scales, flashback. Ya sickness ben almadık bunge. Bana tercih demek istedi. Loft bir sakın de bolade. 
O, Loft Girls'ı kızgınan seçkaç. Hmm, ben de Loft Girls'ı gelmeye geldim. Loft can work with both lines. We just need to close it. And we bake this loft. Let's make it more interesting shape back. You know, something like this. Or not. Bake. Okay. Mm. Loft very really. well. Surface very well. I'm step like on a smooth quartz. I'm going to step like that. Loft hot can smooth loft cleanser. There's a loft option. There's a option. Loft options. Normal loose tight loose else and the big coilage and the other side is nice smooth and what then was the other one that we have else Line sections, high uniform, straight, developable, smooth. But smooth option you like. Rebuild bar count, maybe this one. Smooth uh rhino on the pass the loft to the bar. That's what for a loft to you again, smooth. I rebuild the bar. Ah, rebuild smooth color again, correct? Ah, just smooth color. Rebuild option then on the time like smooth color. The other smooth not level rebuild the on then very good. And cut the rose nature in the color. Cut the rose smooth color. Mula, bole, that for granium. I see, meshi granium. So I look smooth color color again. So all over. Это лофт. Ну, сыкнес верши дадзу бор бабыр бунда. Layer properties, default, layer name. Это print with line type. Темпер тэш тэтэч хэдэн. İlaç bol şiri, Google'dan sonra da yeter. Ne bakılır? Thickness to surface mass to line in Rhino mesela. Ana bakılır şiçi kaydı herhalde. Aa, bana. Options, appearance, appearance to advance, display settings and so on and so forth. It's possible. To give a sickness. Display advanced and so on. Uh, you just change the parameters of it. Okay. And you can give a sickness to this. I will not open that one. You can go to the Google and you see you can see the full instruction how to give a sickness. I didn't know how to give a sickness because I never thought about this. Yeah. Step one, step two, step three, you see, like you need to have like, whoa, 15, 16. That's too much, 20 steps. That's too much for giving a sickness in the rhino. So it's a bit difficult to give a sickness in the rhino. Uh, in 3D Max, it's easy. You just click a renderable and that's it. So you give a sickness and that's it. But this kind of simple option is not possible here. Well, other questions? If you don't have a questions, I'll I will start to explain you your homework for week four. Week four homework will be about making your own surface. Okay. Hmm. Yes, Shirin. Shirina. 
Tashkur Jaiva. You want to say something or ask something? No? No questions? Okay, if you don't have a questions, I'll explain your homework. Your homework is about creating a surface for your object. Sorry. For example, you have designed this thing. I'm a lot of a chef novel. Let's open our work. I mean, John of Wahlberg. It is not made of. Okay, three works will be enough, I think. As an example. You need to create the surface. We said you need to define a pattern because it's just a surface now. You need to create this shape. Yes, in a rhino, in a rhino, not in a 3D Max, not in an AutoCAD, but in a rhino, I will explain you how to make it. For example, Bobur will create this waist surface or something similar to the waist. We asked him to make it smaller so it will be easier for him to complete this. Um, Firoza will make this kind of surface. Like a rectangular. It's easy, you just make a loft. But maybe you want to change it a bit. So this edges. Actually, I don't know, this can be smooth. This can be like this. So you create your own surface for your model, which you defined. How you do this? There are different options. We don't need the grasshopper, but you can still use the grasshopper. For example, you know how to do a loft, right? You yeah, have, for example, this curved line which is rotated 90 degrees, so it will stand here. And I will just copy it using Alt times. OK, now I change these things like this by turning on the control points like this. And this one as well, or not. You know how to create a service from the screws. You just use the loft. Look, even you can imagine what kind of surface it will be, right? More to this direction. Yeah. So you just go to the surface and loft. One, two, three. Yes. And it will create a loft for you, right? This is one surface. You just need to make at least this one because the rest we haven't seen. Or you can do the same in a grasshopper because in a grasshopper also you have a loft. This will be easier if you can make it in a grasshopper. If you cannot make it in a grasshopper, no problem. Or you can create a surface from the borders. It's like you have this, let's copy it, 180 degrees, move it like this, and let's close it. So you have a borders, and you can create a surface between these borders. I want to make it a bit like this, this one a bit like this, oh, nice. You can create a surface from these borders. Uh, it's right here. Short circle two, three, or four edged curves. We have four edged curves. So you can have like two minimum, four maximum. And you have this kind of surface. All right. Nice. The same can be done here. Surface, free form. Um, it was right here. This one, edge surface, create a surface from two, three, or four edges. Curves. It's the same principle, but it's in a grasshopper, and you will get a result in a grasshopper, not in a rhino. You will get a result similar to this loft, which we delayed here. Or you can have like curves. 
in different directions like this. Network of surface, like you can make a surface from a network of cores. It can be three, it can be four, it can like make a um, big network. So you can create from network of this curve is like surface from network of course this one we just show this network hit enter and okay you can choose you lose side and so on you can just hit the preview look what happens it will create a service somewhere here you can use like loose tight in this point and it will make it loose or tight so by default, edge curves and so interior curves and so on. And you get the results from the network of the curves. What if we copy this one here like this and show the third curve, curve as well, like this, this, this, this, this, this. Okay, it will create this kind of surface. Why? Because this is like going upwards, so this one is going downwards. It took the average. If they match in a height, if this curve and this curve will intersect somewhere, at this point will go to that intersection because there will be no average value. That's why it's, it's just taking average value right here. So you can create this kind of surfaces, but you should create this in Rhino or in Grasshopper, not in 3D Max or AutoCAD in Rhino or in Grasshopper. This can be found here. Look, some surface, create some surface from two edged curves. Ah, it's about two. Here you don't have like a network surface, unfortunately, but you can create surface from points. Oh, nice one. Let's check what happens if we create the surface from the points. One, uh, multiple points. Some of them will go upwards, like this one. Some of them will go more higher. So like we make a point here, this one set multiple points. Okay, create the surface from this point. Ah, you need to show like you count number of points in your direction. Okay, five. No, how many points we have here? Let's take a half, seven. Oh, it didn't work because uh, we made it wrong, something. We need to organize these points like, accordingly. So it takes a bit time, practice and so on. We need to show the sequence and oh, we have a surface now. But they are not participating because their location is wrong in order to create a surface. Look, we still can change it, but the location is wrong. That's why we get. There are so many ways to create a surface in Rhino and in the software, you see. You just need to understand what you are doing, and that's it. You just need to turn on the, your logic. Oh, this point controls this edge. This point controls this edge. Now I understand the logic. Look. This one is uh, upward. This one is like down, like down edge. Now we can control it. You see, I understand it now. We can have this kind of uh, surface by your own, but be sure that your surface fits your design because you need to make this curve in order to be able to work further. Then we will apply the surface and so on and so forth. So you can create this kind of surface from the points as well. It doesn't have to be the curve. It's the same as like making a curve from this point like this. Maybe can we decrease this? No, it will not work anymore. Because we defined like four points in new direction, four points in new direction. We cannot make it five because it's, it gets lack of information. It's not enough. Three points, we need to delete this two ones. Multiple points like this. Now it works with three points, you see? So you should understand the logic of uh, every function. 
in order to get some work. Well, there is another option. We still have a time, so I can show you how to make it. It's about using a rail, like one rail sweep, two rail sweep. It's about surface, so one rail sweep, two rail, rail sweeps. This also can be found here, like sweep one, sweep two. Uh, sweep one, let's use the sweep one. You show the rail first, then the object, and it will make this interesting shape, align shapes and so on. Okay, no problem. Build global freeform, road like top. So, like, you can have a preview. So, you can change the refit rail. Can change to change uh, these parameters and you will have this kind of uh, result because the curve is going like this well or two point real so you can actually control the thickness of your object something like this come here then here so you choose this one, select the first rail, this one, select the second rail, this one, and select the cross section, this one. It will increase accordingly. Oh, wow, what do we have now? Super strange thing. Reviews, simplify, reviews, and so on. Okay, we can have this kind of strange surfaces, or let's move this thing here somewhere, maybe. And then maybe we can do this thing. Okay. Now, still. Okay. Let's try it again. First, second, cross section. Now it works. You see, I changed its location and now it works. This is too real soon. Okay. You can create this kind of, and look, it's a reverse coming to the end. Oh, nice. I like it. Why not? Yeah, you can create this kind of things, but if you do it in the Rhino and the Grasshopper, by setting the curves to individual uh, functions here and by choosing this uh, to rail sweep here. So rail first, rail second, and section. You can have several sections, section as a list, you see? You can have several sections even. You have like more options. You can have this kind of shapes. Why not? Or there, there was an, another interesting one. For example, if you have like so two circles on the top of each other. For example, you move this one up here upwards. You can have this kind of option like a patch. You just use these two curves, and what you get is a surface which connects these two lines. Um, it looks like, I don't know, mouse, mountain, whatever you want to call it. So it gets like a rectangular surface and it tries to wrap it around your object. Or you can have like a class similar to 3D Max class. You can have like object and you can drag a surface, like drop a surface on the top of it shape surface over objects you can also have this kind of things why not like solid sphere surface track window over the area to drop this one track window over area to draw you see we get this thing but the parameters are not that good that's why uh, we have this uh, strange uh, areas here, right here. But we created the surface. So there are many ways of creating the surfaces, okay? All you need to do is experimenting with them and they are called in the surface tools. And you can edit the surface. For example, with one comment, you may not uh, get the surface which you want, but I recommend you to have only one surface. It will be easier for you uh, further to develop your form. So try to make them in one, but if you cannot, you can always like join them together, join with this one. 
uh, because it's not like uh, touching each other. We cannot join it. Maybe now we can join it because now they are touching each other, intersecting. No, it's not intersecting. Let's move a little bit. Yeah, now it's intersecting. All right. Join is this one. I again cannot because edges are not aligned. We can create like several surfaces with edges aligned and we can join them. Yeah, why not? It's like attaching objects to each other. And in this case, you should be precise. Well, do you have a questions? Let's get this one back and create another surface right, right here with the loft maybe, like this. Do you have a question, guys? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, now let's try to join this. I have to apple. Ah, now we can uh, we could uh, join this to one uh, rail sweep surface and lofted surface. Why? Because their edges are aligned. For example, it's not possible to create this kind of surface with one command, so we use two commands. Let me create one surface. What was your question? Sorry. Uh, we have to upload this task. Yes, you take a photo or make a screenshot of your screen first. So you make like two or three photos like this is because this three dimensional, I will uh, open like two sections, like one view, second view, because this is a perspective view. Two photos of your of your screen, and the third one will be about making a selfie with your screen. So I should see your face and your screen as well. So in order to understand that, it's you did this. This time, no need to take a photo with your ID card because this, the selfie will be enough. So first is screen photo, and second is with laptop, right? Yes, selfie. Okay. Second one, first one is the print screen of your screen. Or you can just take a photo if you don't know how to make a screen of your screen. Okay, thank you. Questions? Second, thank you. Oh. We all in the and practice which is surface of some area. Albatta. We will make a surface of, of your project. You sent me your ideas, this one. You, for example, Shaf Noza will make this kind of surface. Bobber will make this kind of surface. Interesting one. Or Firuza will make this kind of surface. No lemon tree. Questions? No questions. No question is a good question. Abdurashid, what was your design? Let's check it again. So you are the first. We open three works, but not yours. Trend Vlog. Is that your email? Trend Vlog. Uh, you you will make the surface of the ways okay without this uh, waffles without this chocolates we'll just make smooth surface of the ways we'll try to make like interesting surface not just simple ways the aura what will be your surface uh, you will make also this kind of ways surface and so on and so forth. Do you have questions? No? Okay. Thank you very much for participating in this lesson. In the previous hour, I worked for the free, so I will compensate this and we will finish like four minutes earlier. Ciao, ciao. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good morning. You're welcome. Link to the video is on the channel.